Hey guys, Nexus here, and today, well, I don't really know how uh, to describe it because today is the same day as all my other three videos, but yeah, pretty much I want to talk about the percent, or 10%, sorry, just percent, yep, just percent, don't need to give a figure before that number, just percent, uh, the 10% tax that goes on to a market. And I want to talk about where that's going and where I think it should be going, because right now where it's going is I have no fucking clue. Why are they taxing us? Like, it, <laughs> taxes are supposed to be made so the government can keep things running. Like, you know, our roads paved and pay for, uh, like, emergency services and things like that. What? What are we being taxed on? Wh I don't understand. That makes no sense. It con considering you can't even buy more, what's it called, uh, buy more of the premium currency in the current build of the game yet, it's just in the state of all of the currency in the game is slowly disappearing, which, yeah, no, that's not how you want to have a game with premium currency. If all the currency is slowly disappearing, well, do you see the problem there? Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, I did some research and I went on Alexi TG's Reddit and he says that some of it's going to leaderboards. Well, my first question is, what fucking leaderboards? <laughs> I don't see any leaderboards. I have looked too. Trust me, I have looked. I don't know what they're talking about. But the, even if it is going to the leaderboards, that is a very small amount that's going to the leaderboards. And there is a lot of taxes going in, which is ridiculous. I I see this being resolved in a couple of ways. One, take out the tax. Uh, it doesn't need to be solved. It doesn't need to be there. Has no purpose being there. Just I mean, you're just pissing off your player base by taxing them. Like, god damn it, I pay taxes in real life. I don't want to fucking pay taxes in video games too, man. This shit's depressing in real life and even more depressing if I have to do it in real life or in video games. So, yeah, take it out. I I'm, I'm quite happy with not being taxed. I I won't complain at all. I'll actually be quite happy if you don't tax me on my video games, to be real with you. Don't know who wants to be taxed on their video games. But two, if they're going to have that tax implemented, there needs to be a way to actually earn the premium currency. Which is exactly what I think they should be doing. I don't like games where you can only buy the premium currency. You should be able to earn it as well. And I don't mean like building a part and then selling it on the market from someone who did buy the premium currency. How about we do something more like there are tournaments at once a week or if, you know, completing an invasion raid, you get 20 of the premium currency. I mean, the invasion raids right now currently don't give jack shit, so giving you a little bit of premium currency won't exactly speed up the process of building anything, but it'll at least make people feel better feel like their taxes are going somewhere and whatnot. Uh, like I said before though, I think tournaments would be cool. Not really in the sense that you're probably thinking, but just they say like, okay, uh, every other weekend we're going to have a s tournament, but like we track your stats. Whoever gets the most kills and PvP matches gets the, you know, reward, which is, you know, s well, whatever amount. And then there's like a second, third, and fourth probably up. You know, one through five should probably get a small reward for participation or at least, you know, coming on close on leaderboards. Give players something to work towards. Give us something to keep playing the game for. Uh, you know, keep us interested. Some people might not like that, but there should be, if they do that, and it's like a, just a once every once, or if they do it like once a week or once every other week or whatever when they do it. Then they should have... Why did he do that? The one guy said farm. Oh my god. But if they're going to do it that way, then they should just make it so, you know, it, there are still regular ways to just earn it. You know, like I said, complete an invasion. Complete an easy race. Maybe you get 5, normal 10, hards 20. Invasions, you should get 20 because Jesus... And, you know, we're talking about 20 of the premium currency. Do you know how little of an amount that is? They could easily distribute the tax, or if they even need to, what is the harm in spawning a little bit of it? You know, Warframe, the way they did it is great. That is exactly how I hope the pay system works in this game. 
looks like they're trying to set it up like so, but I don't know how any company's ever going to get it as good as Warframe did. Like, Warframe's premium currency, the way it works, is fantastic. I, I've i never seen a game do it better, and, well, currently, I, I think a lot of games do it really shittily, and they should just play Warframe for a bit and see how that's handled, you know? You don't have to pay to earn it. That's the point. And with the current game, you know, I, y you don't have to pay to earn it. That's correct. You can just build parts and sell them on the market. But I still feel like there should be certain ways of earning it. You know, it's just small amounts, really. But even if not, even if not, if you're not going to give us ways to earn back currency or make it or whatever, then take out the fucking tax. What are you taxing us on? <laughs> can someone tell me? Please, like, what, what, is this so they can have the maps rendered on time for each game? Or is it for the transportation costs of all our parts? Because I'm playing a fucking video game. I don't want to get this in depth, okay? We don't need to be taxed on the behind the fucking scenes of the game as well as the actual game. Oh my god. I, I just don't see the point of the tax. It should be gone if they're not going to, you know may find a way to implement it and give it back to the players that's the biggest part it has to go back to the players and it's not by no means there's i he, again he said you know the top of the leaderboards get it who the fuck is the top of the leaderboards and where are these leaderboards and what are they what what you know they could even make it so every time you do the best on the winning team you get like five and best on the losing team you get like three that would be pretty decent. And again, like, we're talking about such a minute amount here. When you talk about the amount of trades and the amount of tax that they're going to have, especially once this game becomes open and everyone can play it, and the amount of trades that are going to be done just on a daily basis, you could easily do that with the taxes they're going to be receiving. They're going to be getting so many fucking premium coins and taxes, and they're the guys that can spawn them. It's ridiculous, you know? But I do just want to point out, though, that in a closed beta, putting that tax in there is actually really hurting the economy because you're slowly draining the entire market of how many coins are on the actual fucking market. And when you do that, it makes it harder for anyone to earn any coins or but make coins. Things You drive things up in price because there's less coins around, and so demand goes down and so your supply goes up and to make up for that you know a lot of economics takes effect here is what i'm trying to say take out the fucking tax in the closed beta until you you know figure out a way to give it back to the players that's really how that should work you know i i don't care how they do it really clan matches that wouldn't exactly make me happy because i'm not exactly a play with friends type of guy i'd be kind of disappointed if they decided to do it clan match wise but i wouldn't really care I really wouldn't. I would just be happy to be ha or have a way that I can possibly earn my currency back. The other possible way I think they could give it back is, you know, by just crediting you for each player kill. I mean, one cr coin per kill you get. Uh, I don't see the issue in that. Does anyone object to that? No, I, probably not. But when you talk about the taxes on the market, like I said, you get they're getting so much so much money there's no way they can like can't just give this back for the top players of each game maybe they should just take the top three players of each game and winning or losing so you know victory or defeat you the top three players will get you know like five three and one coin you know it it's not much won't make a huge difference you'll it'll probably usually never really add up to, well it will add up eventually but you know if for the most part it's not going to be like a make or break thing like okay i want to go buy this part all right i just got to play some more pvp and do really good to get it no it's just kind of an incentive to play as a team player but for this to work we need to revert back to the fact that people need to play as a fucking team so you know, if you're going to make it so the winners of, or the best players of each team get the, what's it called, the coins, then you also got to make it so you players who are doing more than just, you know, killing can do well. You got to make it so it's like 
taking the objective is just as efficient as it would be, or as killing a bunch of players would be. So, you know, the guy that just sits there and doesn't help the team at all and just is after kills doesn't end up getting the coins every time. But that's just a matter of balancing the game. The game could use some balancing. It really could. Uh, Pyre launchers, specifically, I'm looking at them. They're really mean and really stupid, okay? They're too overpowered. They should not be that fucking good by any means. I, I don't care what, what your defense for them is. They're overpowered as fuck, and you know it. And if you say they're not, you're just being an ass at. And what I mean by overpowered, though, as I should point out, though, I mean when people take them and throw them on, like, 2,000 power score vehicles. If you're using your Pyre Launcher in, like, 3,500 plus games, three, even 3,000 plus games, by all means, dude, you're doing it, and you're, you're fine. That is not overpowered at all. When you have enough armor that you can take a couple missiles, that's fine. But when you're in a 2,000 power support game where the people who you're shooting at literally die from one, maybe two rockets, then you're an ass hat. I mean, you're just abusing the system and you're what's wrong with the game. So, yeah. Hope I offended all the ass hats I could because, you know, I like to be an ass hat. And I, I, I would I would have got offended by that if I, if I were not. So, you know. But, regardless, I'm just going to keep trying to take this objective. I'm going to try and finish up this video by the end of this game. Yeah, I probably don't want to keep hearing me talk. But, you know, I, I kind of just mumble a lot anyway. So that's kind of why you're here, aren't you? Just they hear my ramblings. So, yeah, that's pretty much my way of fixing the tax issue. Just give it back to the players. Like, seriously, that's just how that should be done. I don't understand why the game wasn't implemented like that in the first place. That seems so simple. Like, why is there even a tax if you're not giving it back to the players? That makes no sense to me. Literally zero, guys. Sorry if that... Sorry if you're like, how does this not make any sense? We just have to pay tax. That's how our country works. Well, yeah, I know. That's how, our, that's how every fucking country works. You gotta pay taxes. That's just all there is to it. But why do we gotta pay taxes in our video games now? This isn't Sims. This isn't like an Arma 3 Life mod. I don't need to pay taxes on my fucking video games, guys, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy, and hope to see you in the next one. Uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe, you know the whole drill for YouTubers. Uh, peace out, guys.